Hello everyone, this is Jewelry from Maywood Public Library and today our craft is going to be a wreath. So what you need of course is a wreath, which I got this at the dollar store and then you need some ribbon. I believe I got this ribbon at Michael's but may have been somewhere else and I have a few different ribbons here. Then we have some jewelry pens that I did not have these lying around my house. I had to get them on Amazon. Okay, so when you're making the wreath, you want to decide right away what side is your back side or what side is going to be hidden because that's the side that we're going to put the pins through. So I'm going to do that right away with this one. I'm just going to put a pin right there and then I'm going to start tightly wrapping. So where I decided to end it, I had put the floral pen and luckily it ended on the same side. I didn't have to cut it, but if I had to cut it, not a big deal. I do have scissors. So I'm going to start with my next piece of fabric by putting in another pin. And same thing, I'm just going to rotate it. And I just want to make sure that it's tight. Okay, so now with the last um, set of ribbon I'm using, um, I secured it on the back side with the pin. And I'm gonna do the same thing that I have been doing. Just making sure that it's nice and tight and that I could weave it through. You could always use a glue gun to add, you know, a flower or different type of pendant as well. I'm just doing a more simplified wreath today because you might be new to this and as you could probably see, I am new to this. All right, so there you go. You have your wreath and I took a little bit of extra material so that I could create a little hook for it. So you can just go like that and tie it and then right up here tie it as well and now it is ready to hang if you have something to hang it on a you know a nail or a hook on your door I'm gonna double knot it real quick because I there's space too so there you go there is your wreath so I hope that you all enjoyed this tutorial today and I hope that it's easy for you and I hope yours turns out a little better than mine because I'm still learning as well. If you have any questions, you could reply to this video, you could message us or you could email us at mpld at maywoodlibrary.org. Thank you.